My name is Erin Dyke. I am doing my speech on the benefits of waxing versus shaving. Are you tired of shaving every day or every other day? Having momentarily ridden your body of unwanted hair, you wake up the next day to find that your hair has grown back thicker or darker as ever. If you shaved with a dull razor, you probably have cuts all over your legs, arms, or face. To avoid this, you have to buy a new razor or some new razor blades, but next week, the same thing happens all over again. And the cycle of shaving continues. If you had used wax, all of these problems could have been avoided. Waxing is better than shaving because it is healthy for the skin, it increases time between hair removals, and it causes hair to return lighter and thinner. According to Newmar's Foundation, knowing about the different types of hair on the body before hair removal is very important. All hair is made of keratin, which is a hard protein that is found in the fingernails and toenails. Hair growth begins beneath the surface of the skin at a hair root inside a hair follicle. There are two types of hair on the body. Vellus hair is a soft, fine, and short hair. The chest, back, and face are common spots for women to have vellus hair. It helps to maintain a steady body temperature by providing an insulation. Terminal hair is coarser, darker, and longer than vellus hair. This type of hair grows on the head. At puberty, terminal hair starts to grow in the armpits and pubic regions. Terminal hair is there to provide cushioning and protection. Waxing is a healthy method of hair removal. Unlike shaving, where the hair regrowth is immediate, causing stubble that is rough and coarse, waxing removes not only the hairs, but also the top layer of dead skin cells. According to Dr. Lauren Pickert, this gently exfoliates the skin, resulting in a softer, smoother, more translucent look. Cuts, pigmentations, or badly smelling skin are all avoided when waxing. Wax does not contain any harsh chemicals, so the skin is saved from any long-term damaging effects. Waxing increases the time between hair removals. Each waxing permanently destroys some hair roots, so the space between hair regrowth, regrowth increases. Pickert claims that the time it takes the hair to regrow can range anywhere from three to eight weeks, depending on the individual's speed of hair growth. On average, a person who shaves would have to shave once every three days to have, this, have the same look as a wax job. To compare these numbers, a person who waxes every, once every three weeks would only have to wax 17 times out of the whole year. Now a person who shaves would have to shave 122 times out of the year. Waxing not only permanently removes hair, but also causes hair to return lighter and thinner. Think of it as a hair on a newborn baby. Since waxing takes the hair at the root, each new hair that grows back returns of a finer and softer variety. According to Crystal DeFridas, choosing to let hair grow out after shaving is a hassle because the stubs seem to grow faster since the hair regrows from the shaft of the hair instead of starting a brand new hair. The hassle of shaving is something most men and women dread. Waxing, however, can be a pleasurable experience if done right. You can even use waxing days as a way to pamper yourself. Everyone deserves a stress-free day, so why not turn the day into an at-home day at the spa? All you need to do is dim the lights, light some candles, turn some relaxing music on, and let all your worries slip away. Things like painting your toenails and fingernails, giving yourself a facial, or lying in a bubble bath all contribute to a pamper yourself day. These special days are a lot of fun to have with a close friend. You and your friend can wax each other's legs, which would allow for a better hair removal, especially on the back side of the leg. 17 pamper yourself days out of the year could definitely minimize stress, resulting in a happier lifestyle and a more polished body image. Waxing does have its downfalls. Waxing takes practice. It is difficult to pull out every hair when waxing because of the different directions your hair grows and reduced visibility, like at the back of your legs. After a few times of waxing, you will learn techniques to reduce the time of waxing. Waxing is a lot more painful than shaving. To reduce the pain, take a warm bath to open up the hair follicles so hair pulls out more easily. 
Hair has to be at least an eighth of an inch long before waxing. If it is any shorter, waxing will be difficult and there would be disappointing results. Shaving can happen no matter what length the hair is, but it's generally better if the hair is a bit longer. Waxing is a better hair removal over shaving. It is healthy for the skin, it increases the time between hair removals, and it causes hair to return lighter and thinner. Thank you. Yay!